Um, congratulations on the movie. Really, really enjoyed it. <clears throat> One thing I noticed looking at both your IMDb pages, this is your second entry on IMDb, and Rocky IV was your second entry on IMDb. Yes. <laughs> so you've got that in common. And also we were 27 years old. I was 27 and he is 27. Oh, wow. Well. We were both fighters. We both came from Europe. Uh, so there's it's a lot in common. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah, yeah. scary. A lot, yeah. a lot in common. Speaking of scary, that's the other thing you both have in common. Yes. You both have fantastic scary stares yeah. when you're in the middle of the body. Yes. Like there was one point in this one in particular where you look back at someone and was like, oh my goodness, that is, uh, that's intimidating. Yeah. Uh, wh what place do you need to go to to kind of focus on that kind of anger? Mm. Well, I mean, some of it you have to, usually it comes from some kind of pain or something. Yeah. So that it needs has some depth because if you try to play angry, you look like a WWF, you know, sure. wrestler. I hate you. I'm gonna, you know, it's not. It becomes very shallow. Yeah. But I mean, in this story, it's a kind of a complex situation about fatherhood and fathers and sons and a mother who's abandoned a son and there's a lot of stuff going on there um, in this film and in Rocky IV there was also something going on too for me, you know, because I was kind of created by the Soviet state and I didn't really like that. I was playing all kinds of other things too. That sure. I, I, I didn't like that, so, but it was like, they would just push me out there like a machine. So it's a bit, I'm pushing him out. Mm -hmm. um, Ivan pushes Victor out like I was kind of used by the Soviet system. So there's so many parallels. It's, uh, <coughs> it's a bit scary almost. <laughs> uh, Florian, you've, you've, there's so many legends in this movie that you're surrounded yes. by. Yeah. Uh, was there any singular piece of advice or was there any tidbit or anything you noticed someone doing that you're like, I'm going to keep that in mind for the next project? Well, uh, Sly was kind of the, or is the OG on the set, right? Yeah, sure. So, um, it was nice that, you know, he always took his time with me and was talking about the business with me, like be aware of, you know, agencies and managers and how the business works. And I really appreciated that because in the end of the day, he was the guy who discovered me, right, and mm -hmm. gave me the chance. Then obviously with Dolph, we, the chemistry worked right away and we like each other in real life too. That helps. That helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. and For moments like this when you're in a room yeah. together. Yeah. Well, it's like even if you're playing a scene where you're in conflict, the more you l know care the other that. actor and care mm -hmm. about the other actor, the more you'll, you'll come across as something you can uh, trust each other. Exactly. And bring some, depth to it. The camera sees that, whether it's, you know, for fighting and we don't like each other as actors, then it, it could make it more shallow. You think it would help, but it doesn't. Yeah. It's almost like you have to know the other person to be able to connect with them. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Well, speaking of mm -hmm. knowing the other person, this is your fifth time, I think, working with Sylvester Stallone. Mm -hmm. uh, can you think back to who he was when you met him the first time, to who he is now? Has he changed hugely? Yeah. Oh. When I first <laughs> met him, I was, uh, I came to Los Angeles, they flew me in because they'd seen some pictures of me in boxing gear and I met him at Paramount Studios. I was sitting there waiting, Swedish kid, you know, 26 years old, whatever, and he came out, he was all tanned, long hair, he was gonna do Rambo too. Right. You know, when we went to, goes to Vietnam. Uh, and I was starstruck and he was a big movie star and I was Swedish, you know, karate champion, and a chemical engineering student. <laughs> and of course now I've done 70 movies and he's probably done I don't know, he's done a lot of movies, but yeah, now he's more of a friend and a kind of a mentor and uh, our daughters are friends as well. So there's, there's been a lot of growth on both sides and, mm -hmm. and it's kind of cool that we stayed friends and colleagues over all of these years. It's, yeah, we have some sort of connection, I guess. And one last quick question, if there was the opportunity at all for a Drago spin-off, would you say yes? Would you do it? Well, um, let's say like this. Okay. There are some ideas okay. going on, and we'll see. We'll see. That's nice and vague. You Thank you very you much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Sir. Thanks, man. Thank you. Now you know what you're fighting for. Learn more about yourself. And when I stepped in that ring, it wasn't all about me.